Black, and welcome back to another episode of L.A. Niri. 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 Well, where we last left off, we're trying to do something quick before the homicide guys get here, and here's the dead body. Oh, and it dingalinged right before I went to the pause menu, so. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Well, you haven't seen everything. Oh, yeah, I love the way your barber cut your hair. Oh, who got it done, girl? Dang, that's fabulous. Oh, my gosh, that was so fabulous. Oh, and who did your nails? Oh, my gosh, they are such a to-die-for trend, lady. Or man, whatever. No, nothing there, just blood, more blood, and a lot of other blood. Layaway voucher. Okay. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Arcadia? Cuckoo. Uh, look at this song. Oh, his nails are just as fabulous on this hand. Oh my gosh. The Oh, man, you're looking so fab. Okay, let's see if my dumb luck idea. And it dangled. Really? All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. <laughs> okay, okay, it's a dead person. We've all seen one before, right? Right? Not just me, right? FN Browning, serial number zero one one three eight. Is that a cult? I need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Ma'am, did you say anything? Sir! Sir, I love your tie! Okay. I mean, you're right. Sir? Sir, you decided to talk a lot, so why don't Sir, you talk to me now? What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. You want to take a look around now? The witness can wait, Cole. We've got the perimeter. Oh. Okay, I mean... Excuse me, officer. I want to see. Okay. Five shots? Shell cases. These look like 32s. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally. Oh, I could get physically uh, forceful because it is the 40s. Am I right, ladies? Try the general approach. I'm not. See what you can coax out of. Coax out of it. Okay. Verbally, of course. Of, of course. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we, before we do that, I want to see exactly how many shell cases there were. Five. Okay, there's five. I'm pretty sure that's going to be very important to them. No, I know you love straggling dead bodies or straddling or whatever. Saddling, Officer straddling, Phelps. daggling. About the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. I would not cry that much over... First name. Actually, Edward. I like my boss. Never mind. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Galleta. Of course. Eyewitness account. Uh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Let me click it. Tell me exactly what happened, Miss. I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay. Pressing it. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened. It's Galleta. 
you're going to tell me? There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? That's what I was thinking. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder. You little fool. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He who runs lived the in jewelry a shoe store. With a who? He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. How many bangs? Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned yeah. and walked away. That, that sounds legit. Oh, but she's telling the truth, right? You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Oh my gosh! People do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. <laughs> Forget it. Screw him for having nice things. Man, How many Jewish. shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's Whatever. difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Select truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. That's five. Five. Good girl. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. And we'll need you to make very... a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. That's what I thought, woman. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. This game makes these women have to be so stupid. When women aren't really that stupid, at least I'd like to think that they're not. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. The killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking. Tate, maintain the perimeter. Sit, Uber, sit! Good boy. Hey, don't you honk at me. C can, I, can I get my gun out? With me. When I'm done. <laughs> what are you doing in that car, young man? <laughs> uh, let's go to the gun store first before we go and apprehend the suspect. I, I have questions for these people. Straight. Keep it straight. What's so goddamn hard about that? Oh, dang it. Uh. Better to do. Someone gotta tell us what the hell is going on? Okay. It didn't completely screw me over. Okay, good. I thought it was gonna like ruin everything. <laughs> uh, I think we have to start all the way over to deal with that woman. Oh wait. You need to get in the car. Quicker. Much more quickly than that. Which is, which is a cop car, but still. Officers, 
What can I do you for? Uh, Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Can I get an RPG? We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Kalu, you ignorant nitty! Cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. So... What? Did we just learn what I already knew we were gonna learn? Cause that's pretty ignorant of myself. You suck. Oh. <laughs> My lights are torn to crap. <sighs> All right. Can I interest you in a new watch? Uh, really? Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? Uh. No, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. All right, thank you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! I got your number, Mr. Kalu. Mr. Calligraphy. Mr. Kalanini. Mr. Come on, Mr. Kalu. It, it, it's a piss. <laughs> Excuse me, bus. Excuse me, people. Too late. Hello. Oh, I wish I could afford that. I wish I could afford that. What? It's free. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Oh, trats. Foiled again. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The My name's not Sticky Foot, you stupid people. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yeah. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to conduct the interview, sir? I am, <sighs> young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Rawr! Do you think you might be ready for that? Rawr! Yes, sir. I think I am. Rawr. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. Oh, gosh, stop talking. Motive? I'm running over time. Hard evidence. And best of all, a confession. Ooh. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. You forgot to say no pressure. Alright. Let's roast this turkey. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. That's not how it works. If you ask for his lawyer, you have to, you know, give it to him. Alright, everyone. Let's roast this turkey. In the next episode! So... Now, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and comment if you get, want to give me some ideas about something. Uh, share with your friends this video if you enjoyed it particularly well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, thank you, I love you, and oh, bye bye